Okay, so you've been seeing a guy and you really like him, things are getting really hot and heavy, and then suddenly you send him a text and he doesn't respond to it at all. What happened? So today I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake that women make in this situation that drives men further away. And the number one key to turning things around for yourself so that you can have the power to create the relationship that you've always wanted to have. My name is Matthew Coast and welcome to Commitment Connection. Before we get started, if you're serious about getting into an awesome relationship with a great man, make sure that you go to thegoddesscommunity.com and check out joining our community there for free. Okay, so there's nothing more frustrating than being really into someone when, and then when you contact them, they just don't contact you back. And if you're feeling this way, like if you're feeling really frustrated, I, I, I get a lot of women in our community that run into situations like this. And a lot of them tell me that they get really frustrated, they get angry, they get upset, they get confused. And if you're feeling this way, you're, you're not alone. This is pretty normal way to feel in this situation. I've experienced this before. Most people that I know have experienced this before. And a lot of the women in our community have experienced this before. And personally, I don't know how you would not get upset or frustrated in a situation like this. And so what does this even mean? Like, what does it mean when you send somebody a text message and they don't really respond to it? Well, what it means is that it's kind of a sign of disrespect and not in a way necessarily like a malicious sign of disrespect like he's trying to like hurt you or something but it just shows that he's not prioritizing you and he's not appreciating you and he's not valuing you which can sound kind of like he's trying to hurt you in some way or whatever but what it really means is that he just doesn't see it he, he doesn't see the value in you he does he's not realizing how amazing and wonderful and beautiful and attractive of a woman that you are and so he is doing all these things be, because of that. And so what's the biggest mistake that women make in this situation? When you're in a situation like this and you're feeling frustrated and you're, you're like upset and you're not sure really what to do, it can be really easy to try to force the situation. And that's the biggest mistake that you can possibly make is trying to force something, trying to manipulate something, coming from the space of fear and then you know trying to get control over it, the situation by trying to kind of manipulate it like it's some kind of chessboard and you're kind of putting these different chess pieces around and you're trying to force a situation to happen. And so what you don't want to do is do anything like that it, because it, what it, what will end up happening is it will destroy the, any kind of relationship or dating situation that you do have. If he realizes that this is something that you're doing, he will get he will probably end up leaving or he'll start playing games with you, and that's the opposite of what you want to have happen. And so. Uh, and before we go any further, if you're here with us right now watching this live stream, make sure that you tell us what your name is and where you're from. Say hi. Tell us where you're watching this from in the world because it's really cool to see all these people from all over the world watching these live streams and it's kind of fun. So do that. So other mistakes that you might end up making doing this. One, we already talked about trying to play games with him. Or another one is shaming him or attacking him or telling him that he's playing games with you, something like that. Because a, a lot of times when women think or guys think that a, a person is playing games with them, what's actually happening is they're really just not that into you or they're not that attracted to you. And so attacking him or shaming him will just drive him further away. And what you want to do if you really like this guy and you want things to be mended with him is to not do that and to give him some space instead. 
So the next mistake you can make is smothering him with messages, asking him what's wrong or why he hasn't responded or is he angry with you or anything like that. We get a lot of women that do that kind of thing in these kinds of situations and that really just, it, it destroys everything. It'll, it'll just drive him out of your life. So you don't want to do that. Another one is kind of coming from, coming back with, like once he does respond, coming back with needy or clingy or self-deprecating behavior, text messages or some kind of pity party thing that you do. That, that doesn't work as well. It just makes him feel like you're kind of low self-esteem and that you don't really value yourself and, and that's just not a good way to go in general. It can get attention, but it's not good attention and it's not attraction and it's not what you actually want. Another thing is trying to ignore him back or trying to get revenge on him. I mean, obviously, if he ignores you and all of a sudden you hate him and you want to push him out of your life, then ignoring him back or trying to inflict revenge on him, you know, if, if that's just what you want to do to make yourself feel better, whatever, but it's not going to help your situation in any way. And the last one, the last mistake that you can make before we go on to what you should do instead is refusing to look at your own behavior as something that may have turned him off and driven him away. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you might have done is some of the things from the mistakes that we talked about earlier. And, and it's, it's great to think like, oh, no, I'm perfect and I don't make any mistakes and I should just be able to do whatever I want to. But there's human psychology and human behavior here at play. And I'm going to be talking a lot about that in my new program that I'm going to be coming out with here in a couple of weeks that I'm giving away for free, which you can get if you join our community. And so it's going to be a really awesome program. But you know, what you want to do is you want to do the things that work and stop doing things that don't work. And these mistakes that I'm talking about are the things that don't work. So stop doing those kinds of things unless you want to continue to have lots of different problems. So, so what do you want to do instead? What do you want to do in this situation so that you can turn things around for yourself and end up creating and having the relationship that you absolutely want? The number one thing that you first need to do before you do anything else is come, is regain your power, is come from a posi what I call a position of power. Because when you come from a space of power, it doesn't really matter what he does because you have the control, you have the choice. You get to dictate the terms of what happens in your dating and relationship life. And that's the most important thing that you can possibly do is giving yourself control and power over what you experience in your life and taking response, taking ownership of how you experience your life. That's the, by far the most effective and important thing that you can do in your dating life. And it also will make him and other men ar around you more attracted to you when you come from this position of power because a lot of those mistakes that, you, that I talked about earlier or that you might make in kind of other situations, the, those will start going away because you'll start feeling differently about yourself when you're coming from that space of power because you'll start feeling like you're more valuable, like... You, you'll, you'll, men will start seeing you as being more valuable because you'll start getting into alignment with feeling like you're, in a, you're a valuable woman. You'll start acting like you, you feel like you're a valuable woman. You'll start thinking and believing that you're a really powerful and valuable woman. And so men will start treating you that way because you won't be putting up with anything else. And you know, what the, the most effective way to put yourself in a position of power is something we've talked about in some of these other videos, which is doing what I call the, the abundance principle, using the abundance principle. And what you need to do is create an experience in abundance of quality men in your dating life. So get yourself in orbit of men who are interested in you and start going out on dates with men. And it's, it's really hard to get caught up on one guy and what one guy is doing when you have a bunch of guys who are fighting for your time and attention and you're going out on other dates with other men because all of a sudden it's like okay well this guy ignored me and that sucks but it's like oh I'm going out with all these other guys and so 
You know, it's like, you know, how much time can I really get caught up and angry and frustrated and focused on this dude that, you know, is, is doing something that I don't like when I've got all these other great things going on in my dating life. And so that, that's the most powerful, that's one of the most powerful positions that you can have is a world of abundance. And what it, what it does is it, it gives you this position where you're willing to walk away, which is another thing that I talk a lot about. And it doesn't matter how long you've been with a guy or how much you've invested in him. You have to be willing to value yourself and value your life and value your world enough to say, hey, I'm only willing to put up with so much before I'm willing to walk away. And especially if you're just starting to date a guy, like I, I talk to women all the time and they're like, oh yeah, I've what was seeing this guy for a week. Right. Or sometimes they aren't, they haven't even been on a date with the guy yet. And they're like, oh, he ignored my text. And it's like, well, you guys aren't even really seeing each other. You know, you're just kind of talking over uh, online dating or whatever. And you, you, you haven't actually met each other in person yet. So there's no real thing there. And so you, you have to be willing to walk away if people aren't treating you well, if they're not treating you right, if they're not doing things that like valuable women, they don't put up with behavior from men that makes them feel less valuable, that makes them feel like they're taken for granted, and that makes them feel like they're being treated like an option. The valuable women that val that really value themselves, they, they don't allow that into their lives. Life is too short to be taken for granted by anyone. And so you shouldn't be allowing people into your life that are taking you for granted. Now, if it's just a friendship or whatever, that's, it could be kind of a different situation. But you know, if, if somebody really likes you, they're going to be contacting you back. They're going to value you. They're, they're going to do all these things. And so those are the kinds of people that you want to let into your life. Those are the kinds of men that you want to let into your life. The men that value you, the, the men that treat you well, the men that see you as the amazing, beautiful woman that you absolutely are. And, and so you, you want to be in this position where you are willing to walk away because that is the most powerful position that you can possibly be in. So, you know, not to use it as a manipulation tactic. A lot of women are like, oh, okay, so I'm going to take this and now I'm going to manipulate him and use these kind of tactics or give him an ultimatum and, and try to use that to manipulate him. And I'm not using, I'm not saying use it to manipulate him, but use it as a tool to be like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately not going to deal with anything that doesn't really work for me in my life and, and any men that don't really value me enough to get back to me when I message them and I'm talking to them and we're having a conversation. And so the only way that you can really effectively do this without driving yourself crazy is to is by keeping uh, uh, is by using the abundance principle. And so the last thing that we kind of need to talk about here is, you know, how you're going to deal with him in the future. And really what you need to do is think of him like a cat in this situation where if you ch go and chase a cat, right? So you can message him if you want to. And, you know, uh, th there, there are kind of different things that you can send him. You can, you know, send him a reminder like, hey, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like you haven't responded th to this yet or something like that. I've, I've got some different text messages that, that can be really powerful to use in situations like this that I'm going to be putting into the program that I'm creating. However, it, it's one of those things where it, it's not, that's not necessarily the direction that you want to go, right? Because if you're, it's like, like I said, it's like a cat. If you go and chase a cat, right? And the cat doesn't want to hang out with you right now, it's going to run away, right? And if you're outside, it's going to continue running away until it's completely gone. And you're like, where'd the cat go, right? And it's like, okay, well, the cat's gone and the cat's not coming back until the cat wants to come back. And so you want to wait. You're going to have to wait until he wants to come back, until he wants to connect with you again, until he wants to have a conversation with you again. And if you want to have things go well with him. You can't just start attacking him and belittling him when he does 
come back, right? If, if a cat comes back and you slap him when he comes back, what's the cat going to do? Run off again, right? Because he doesn't want to get slapped. But if the cat comes back and you pet him and, you know, you start talking to him and, you know, you, you, you train him on how to behave when he's around you, when the cat's around you, then the cat will start behaving the way that you want him to behave. And so that if you want to continue to have him in your life, what you need to do is, is one, make sure that you're coming from this position of power so you're not completely caught up on him and trying to manipulate him. But at the same time, you know, have a conversation with him and talk about talk to him about, you know, what you want and what you don't want in your life and and you know, show him ways that that are that kind of make you feel bad, make him work to get you back, right? And make sure that he understands that when he does things like that where he's like ignoring you or whatever that you you frame it in a way where he understands that it makes you feel less attracted to him that it makes you feel less interested in him that it makes you feel like you know whatever ways that it actually does make you feel so that he understands what's going on with you and he's not completely clueless because maybe this is the way that he's interacted with other women in the past and he just doesn't get it, right? Because there's a, most guys out there, the overwhelming majority of guys out there, they don't get it. And if they are allowed, and if you let them kind of run all over you and treat you badly, then they'll just continue to do that. And so you have to put up boundaries. You have to communicate what your needs and desires are. You have to be able to frame things in a way that he understands what works and what doesn't work for you so that he's not just running all over you like that. And so in closing, uh, don't try to force him. Don't uh, instead create abundance for yourself, create power for yourself so that you can continue to attract and keep him or have other men in your life so that you're not just stuck on him and you can actually find a great guy that does come into your life who treats you well and values you and makes you a priority and, and, and sees and realizes what kind of an amazing woman that you are. And so next we're going to go into question and answer. So if you're watching the live stream right now and you have any questions, on your situation or you have any questions where you want to clear things up about what I just talked about or you know how to deal with things when he comes back or any of that kind of stuff throw your questions into the chat and I will go and answer those questions